Hi, my name is Sammy Sonio, agronomist for Bayer in Northeast Louisiana. Today we'd like to talk to you about the importance of corn population in your corn crop. Uh, at the lower populations, a lot of times you're going to see what we call flex, and that's when this, this the actual the end of the, the cob is going to grow out the shucks. Usually your ears are bigger on your lower populations, but they do tend to grow out the end of the shucks. Whereas on your higher populations, you're going to see a smaller ear in general. You, a lot of times you will see this tip back in the higher populations. They're doing a lot of great work at the Learning Center on corn populations. I'm going to turn it over to Jay now and let him explain to you what they're doing. So we're out in our corn population evaluation here at the Learning Center this morning. Every year at Scott, we take a group of new corn products and we evaluate their response to population. That's a very important evaluation for us to make because as we introduce new products in the marketplace, we want to know their response to population and how they respond to that when we make the decision about how much corn seed to plant. Historically, our data here at the Learning Center says that if we plant more seed, we generally increase yield. The question is, number one, how much? And if I do indeed plant more seed, do I increase the yield of the products that we're evaluating in these tests? But secondarily, we need to know, if we plant more seed, does it increase our risk of logic? That's why we take these new products as they're given to us prior to their introduction in the marketplace or very early in the process. We put them in a trial like this and evaluate their response to population. We'll have a lot of data along that line we can share with you through the tour.